Hello everyone, anyone, this is Zial, and back to Underrail. Um, Enhanced Edition? No, it's not. <laughs> Just really want to say Enhanced Edition. You say it so many times and you get it in your head. Okay, get your controls right. WASD does nothing for you. Um, which apparently, uh, Z, which is also coincidentally the push to talk button I have for when I'm trying to sync up videos, is there, which I think is funny. Uh, really, what we got to do, what, what we got to do, is we got to clear this out. I think, I guess, I, it, whatever save game I chose, I don't think I did everything properly, or I don't, I don't, didn't save everything. So I have to see if there's like a single guy I need to murder in a room or something like that because things are looking unfamiliar to me. So we're gonna look, search around. Yeah, that's instant death, bad place to be. Although that turret does have possibilities, since I think it's just shooting anybody. Um, looks like it's just shooting anybody. So the idea behind it is that security cameras don't matter because they're not. No one's watching the cameras unless there's another security feed. I don't know about. Uh, yeah, was this guy in here? There wasn't there. There was a guy in here. So I guess I did kill him. I thought I came in through the vent and did that, but I guess I did it a different way. But. My ultimate goal is that I gotta find a way to use the traps. See, there's blood down this hallway. Is that because this is also related to... This was the shaft I came in? No, it was all the way over there. So this is still related to that one hallway. I don't know. Let's give a little peek. Let's see what happens. Commander, quick save. Um... Yeah, let's just pop out. I'm curious. Oh, that's right. I remember this now. Ah ha ha. I can open it with my lockpick. There is a dog barking at me. Ruff. 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 Yeah, I don't remember why I'm going here. Anyway. Just the way it is. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, this must have been before I did stuff. Oh, boy, both of these require lockpicks. Oh, well, let's do it. And forgive me for moving around. I just got done watching a whole bunch of football, and you know, you're sitting down or lying down, whatever it kind of takes for watching football with the old man, but you get tired, and you want to just... Or you get tired of sitting, as soon as you're standing. It's really a terrible position. Ah, you... Ah, oh, what a waste of lockpicks. Well, these things happen. Yeah, so there was a guy in here, right? And I murderized him. I made him the dead end. Well, there is it now? Because his corpse should still be here, right? Right? Well, all right. Yeah, you got me. No, that's the security. Okay, so that's the turret right there. So, hmm. Let's see. Planning out my master plan is get shot by that turret and die. No, that's a bad plan. That's a bad plan. But I know I can walk through this hallway, although there was a dog in here. Th these guys are my biggest threat. And so, if I were to take care of this is where I kill the dog. One of them, at least. So, what would be the ideal plan is for me to, say, open up this door and leave a whole slew of traps for them to walk into as I do my hit-and-run tactics and get the heck out of here. Worst case scenario, running all the way over here and maybe into the next screen to be able to lose them. It's a sh it's it's a possibility. Let's give it a shot because we got to kill these muties because we got to get our way into finishing this. If I open up this door, they won't see me immediately. Yeah. And they're oops, not cute. It's eight. Don't tell me it's just a dog there. That's weird. Moving around in my chair. Okay.
and I do believe that this where I can't even see. Ooh, I may not be able to see the dog now though. Not to see. No, I can. Just move here. Aha! Okay, so we start off combat. Get your air bow and arrow out. I don't. 40%, 39%. It's really more about getting their attention. Or not. And let's back up a step. Ow! Oh! There's the bad guy. SMG fire. Okay. So, now we got ourselves the interesting position. Uh, this guy looks like he's a... I'm gonna try to shoot him with a... Darn it. Let's try it again. Uh, it hurts me. And from there... We still have a couple of traps. Because this dog will eventually bleed out. It'd be... More, well, this this dog... Which I can right-click on him. He'll bleed out and he's trapped. Plus, there's two more traps along the way. Assuming that they don't. So I need to get out of his line of sight. Oh, there's another one. There's a lot of these guys here. Other idea is from here, I keep running and I try to make it so that I can go across here. But the mutants are stupid and they're going to run into it. That's that's the plan. The traps will slow them down. I don't know if they're going to call for reinforcements from the other side, though. I kind of like this plan, though. It's a very me sort of plan. Oh, that's a good thing. We'll find out. And I can move one more square. The sounds of a dead dog. Should be another guy running into a trap. Yep. <laughs> uh, but they'll be coming closer. Okay. I don't know if going stealth there was the right move. Hey, look, a trap. Detected. I run across here. And... I... Back up a little bit. And see what happens. Because I really thought people would be joining me. Okay. Now I'm getting all like... Paranoid. <laughs> Paranoia is a powerful, powerful enemy. I'm trying to see serrated arrows. I thought I had more of these things. I guess I don't. Okay, we'll put that. Equipping it to my utility belt does that. Are these guys coming or not? Okay, so I outsmarted them too much. And now I can't walk across there because that's going to cause trouble. So we have to walk around and see what's left. We know we definitely have one dead dog. And we have some mutants who these hit and run tactics. Wait, what? Oh, wow. I just never magically ran into that trap. That's kind of nice. Oh, look at that. Now they're running back in there. What do we got here? The remains of a dog. Another dog. Uh oh. That's bad. He ran right into me. Shoot. Whoa! You gotta love that. And we flee. There they come. Okay, so we have two halfway dead mutants here. So. We still have Operation Beeline. They know where we are. I never got the trap down. Let's try it. Just hope it doesn't run right into me. Yeah. 
Yeah, look, I can get there. Okay. And there we go. Come on. Oh, buddy. Ow. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Don't kill me. I very much wish to live. All right, the first thing you got to do is hypo. Sort items so you can never find them again. Excellent plan. 50% chance. It's just not worth it. But, moving around this way, so hopefully the turret starts eating him up. Why isn't the turret eating him up? There it is. Ha ha ha! Justice! And I can end combat. That is using, using your... Um, what's it called? To your advantage. Surroundings. Whatever. Oh, look at the other guy. You just... Oh. Th they must be from the other room. Yeah. Just take all of it. Apparently, I think I might be able to get away with not walking there. None of that was, like, a key card or whatever the heck. I'm, I'm looking for the armadillo parts or whatever they're called. But hit and run tactics are working. Hi. Ooh. The scoped hurricane crossbow, which isn't as good as what I have. It isn't. It just isn't. But, cool. Gotta love those acid bird femurs. Let's uh, bandage ourselves up just to be safe. Of course, that takes you out of stealth, so that's something to remember for next time. These are somebody's organs. Okay. Some intestines, oh yeah. Tasty. Oh, over encumbered. Intestines way too much. Can I extract humors from intestines yet? No. So we're gonna say thanks, but no thanks to intestines. Um Alright. And now we're in our local footlocker. So they must have come from the other area. Nothing. Nothing. Ooh, is that a bear trap? It's a bear trap. I'll take it. Foot locker. Which is? Security key card, old junkyard. Scary terminals automatically gain two security access. Okay. So maybe that'll mean I can go back to that computer to do that. Experience paint a welding helmet. It looks so cool welding stuff with this on. Well, thanks. Ooh. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but since it's got that special coloring, it looks like it might be a better SMG. Like, I don't know if it's epic or whatever. However, they put it. We're recycling some items since we're here. Say thanks, but no thanks to melee weapons. To crappy melee weapons, that is. Because we did figure out that that does... Oh, it doesn't make things lighter on me? <laughs> it's not. Alright, have any useless stuff on me? Uh, this weighs one pound, that's it? Am I actually making things heavier for myself doing the way I'm doing it? I probably am. Mm, mm, mm. Well, this weighs 3.25 pounds, and am I using it? So if I recycle it, it becomes 0.9. So yeah, there's, it is helping selectively. This is my old crossbow, or just one I found or whatever. And we're almost there. Scoped hurricane. Goodbye. You want those firearms to sell to folks. This would be the first thing we drop. 
was able to sell it. These rat hound armors I'm just holding on to. Alright. It's a desk. With bullets in it. Mighty bullet desk. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I checked all of them. Aha! See? Base to not to be uh, rushing. But yeah. I love me some Underrail. This is some good, nice, incre uh, I've already studied it once. Boo. Oh well. Would have been experienced if I hadn't gotten already. But this is... Scrapture. What could it be? Experience what it is. Okay, so... But I found the key card that, that, we're, that I was thinking about. So, I'm gonna head back to... Here-ish? Which reminds me, have I ever opened up this? Oh, that's why I've never opened this up. Um... What was it? My... Lockpicking is 55 with this equipped. So let's do it. Screw it. It's a box. Wonder if I could have just gotten to this ventilation shaft and not bothered. Hacking 50. I can do that. I do enjoy the, the happy noises. I do. I really do. Vials and some grenades. The grenades are eventually going to start becoming stuff I won't be fiddling along with, but because I just know I'm destined to blow off my own leg with one. It has been foretold in the prophecy of my throwing skill being zero. And considering I throw caltrops like the way that I do. Hey look, this is a separate system all to itself. Cool. Do they anywhere neat? Oh, I see. Wasn't well, that swell? Out we go into the area. Two more of these? What? All right. I'm officially in some place. Oh, because that was the place where I wasn't going in because of the. Are, is that active? It's hard to say. It's not moving. So. Huh. I do feel like I might have gotten myself a little off course because I've moved on to the next area. Well, let's give it a shot. Drink while we open up shafts. Um, gosh, I'm really trying not hard not to. Uh, sometimes there's like catchphrases you hear from other people doing let's plays and on youtube and sometimes i just get the urge to well that just sure is a century bot we're gonna get this and get out i could yeah it's just standing there excellent good use of batteries There we are. It's not bad. Electronic parts. Something I don't understand. Uh, okay. Over encumber. Can I open up the box from here? I cannot. So, time to eat a burger when we're not in the room. Hi. Good burger. Welcome to Good Burger. Can I take your order? Never saw the show. Some people have some fond memories of it, though. Ooh. Okay. So let's get rid of things. God, they barely weigh anything, yet they're still weighing me down. I mean, these plasma cores and stuff, I mean, this all looks like sweet stuff. Gasoline is chemistry. I can't deal with it, so that's that. Healthy animal heart. Okay. And... Oh, that was close enough. That's all I need to do. Let's get rid of that. But I did get access to something. And yeah, just more searching around. Um, it was being mentioned by uh, 
Captain Picard that, oh, we don't say. So this is probably the entrance and the other way, I'm assuming down opens up into that area where the turret is and do, it does its, bid, it, its biddiness, biddiness. So far, so good. <sighs> cool. Yeah, why not? Exploring. Oh, that's why not. Because there's... These are the fast... They bought the fast model ones. <gasps> oh, now they know what's up. <laughs> oh, I'm so screwed. Does that... Oh, God. Does that lead out? Oh, it does not lead out. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm pretty much done. May the lures of quick save be with me. Yeah, I don't even have my EMP grenades on me. We try... We can't even do this. We'd have to run out this. We have to run into Mr. Robot here. 51% chance. What is this arrow I got equipped? The shock bolt. All right, come on. 51% chance. Do it. Whoa, it worked. Okay, now we're gonna run this way. Run, 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 run. Okay. That's gonna be a problem, isn't it? Do it again. Nine of action points. Run away. I'm so screwed. I hate this. When they're smart and use their incapacitating shots at the right time. Hooray! Yep, and incapacitated. Well, I'm not dead yet. I'm pretty sure I can hypo any time in the near future. Two turns. So, it all comes down to... Blind effing luck. And moving myself. Nah, I'm screwed. And I drop. Boo! Resume last save. Hopefully it's an auto save or something because I don't know if I was being good about my quick save. And if I wasn't, I'm so sorry. Oh, it was just here. Alright. If I remember, wasn't hacking that like really underwhelming? I think it was underwhelming. And one of these is food. But anyway, we're not too far back. So there's that. But we have to be aware of this stupid security bots. Sentry bots are definitely the bane of my character. Eel sandwich. And constitution. Okay, popper stick. Help me with my traps. We'll just take one of them. Although... There is this part of me that wonders if I go out of my way and start murdering sentry bots here, if there'll be less of a problem in the future. I don't know. I just think I have to be careful. And I was definitely far from it before. And this is... Oh, look at that. You see I'm padding by? So you do it like this. But his patrol seems to be fairly simple. Okay. Oops, sorry. And what is this? Is this way going to be into turret land and murdering me? That, opening that door, would be bad. Okay. The more you know. Ah, uh, so that key card is very interesting to me Be because I don't exactly know what that means. So it's like, I kind of want to um, 
we'll, we're going to scout around here using ventilation shafts because there's no bots in them. And we'll see everything that there is to see. We'll start up here, I guess. Because something tells me that this is where the part is. It just feels like it, doesn't it? Okay, they'll help me know when the robots are going by that way. Sentry bots. Interesting. Another area to kind of open up. And pop back in immediately if there's problems. Wow, there's a lot of things to look at here. Oh, well that's going to be helpful. That will be very helpful, in fact. Do 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 do. Hi, I'm inside your thing. Did you leave traps everywhere? <clears throat> it's like I discover it and I explode at the same time. Need more trap skill. Ah, uh, save that. I knew it. I mines are tough because mines, I believe, you, I can't dis disassemble unless I have some electronic skill. In fact, I haven't tried to say out my traps a little bit, but we'll see. Desk, some bullets to sell, whatever this is. Okay, that was one of the rooms. What are you? Oh, there's a lot of dead muties in there. Okay, that's a room not to go into. If you can help it. No, same with that one. That's a nasty room. But what are on your shelves? Experience. Nothing. A ladder going up. Lock picking 50. We played this game before. We know what's up. Well, we played this lock picking game. Haven't played Underrail before. This is definitely straight from last episode. Curiosity is going to murder some cats, you know what I'm saying? What's going on here? Hi. Interesting. Not in as interesting as it was. How far does he go? I doubt he goes all the way into here does, though. I'll be ready to pop in here. He doesn't. He's, he's programmed to go to the end of this hallway and then march on back, looks like. Alright, good to know. Oh, god. Oh, god. Well, I'm no longer stealthed. Oh, lordy. I'm so mad at myself right now. Okay, no. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna try this. Oh, another one? Safe mode. Ah, yeah, slight quick save. But I might be able to make it out of here. Come on, come on, kill him. These things are too, these things are smart. Yeah, I know. I'm aware of the critical hits hitting my face. Sometimes when you just get caught by sentry bots, it's just like, so should I just restart or what? And excellent. Yeah, we're just gonna load our last saved. We'll slow the quick save. Didn't find anything super anyway. Ah, uh, the trial and error gameplay. So. Curiosity definitely murdered some cats here by going out there, but there is some more loot to acquire um, And some careful timing not taking off my stealth accidentally pressing the wrong key. That's just me being stupid. It's gonna happen quite a lot if you watch my let's plays, but That's part of it is that uh, I feel like there's a couple different approaches You can kind of go with this if you are the super master of this game like hey guys I'd like to show you off this under this underappreciated PS1 classic today, you know, and I know everything about it, so therefore I'm gonna just show you everything I possibly can. And you can, you know, be the master. You can be the master and the commander. Do what you want. 
Um, or you kind of play it blind and you play it uh, kind of fast and loose, like, uh, well, like basically what you see, see me do. Uh, at the same time, as soon as you start coming up into a wall, that's when I'm learning more and more. Ooh. Cool. I don't think I'm ever going to learn it, but maybe, maybe it would be worth it. I don't know. Experience. All right. So that was worth it. That was nice. And, uh, yeah. But the point is, is that there's a couple different ways to go about business, if you will. Quick save. And I play a lot of my games blind. And some people are just like, uh, you know, you need to have your maximum character build absolutely figured out 400 ways since the future. Um, and that's cool. I, I can respect that. And especially, but when it's a new game, it's like nobody really knows that unless you've been, like, reading spoilers to the game. And, uh, if I made the game boring for myself, you know what's really going to come across in the video? Just how bored I am. <laughs> Just how bored. It's like, okay, do this, do this, do this, do this. And then it becomes acting. And I'm not an actor. I do stupid voices for fun. And all that sort of stuff. I'm not acting. And then it becomes like, oh, what's coming up here? Or you just say, this is this. It becomes a walkthrough for so Let's Play. And I'm not really down with the... I'm, the, I'm down with the walkthroughs. Like, I definitely um, subscribe to one of the guys who, like, has the ridiculous, crazy upload speed. And he gets all of his videos out um, with no commentary. Like, pretty much right after the game is released. Uh, Hassan Harry, maybe is his name, I think. Anyway, because I've done that before, because sometimes you don't want some gob talking over your game when um, there is stuff. But see, there's a lot, but there's games like this where, like, you know, there's not, like, explosions every 30 seconds. You know, there's not exactly anything to keep people, um, you know, super, like, glued to their seats. Like, what's going to happen in this set piece? Um, that sort of thing. There's no spoken dialogue, for God's sakes. So it's kind of nice to have somebody to go along the journey with and then talk about what you did versus what they did. Why did you do that? Why are you, do you have a case of the stupid, see all? And the answer to that generally is, yep, yeah, usually. That plus, uh, there is a little bit, I'm not camera shy or shy shy. Oh, so look at that. This would be a nasty room to explore. Did you see me? Do you see me? Do you see the choices that I make with my life? <laughs> Cause like, well, that's nasty. I can't say I care for this very much, but that shelf. Maybe that has the part I need. So next time I see the robot go by, we, we go find out. Can I quick save like this? Let's pop open the window again. It doesn't. Right click. Look. Alright. Mr. Robot has made his rounds. We go out. We go, hey... We go, that was a waste of time. There's more robots here. This is dangerous. It's very dangerous. This is exceedingly dangerous. That I can actually open if I time things right. Boop. Yeah. So, right click peek. Pikachu. I know nothing about Pokemon, too, by the way. That's the joy of being 32. I think that's my age. I ever forget that? Because I'm nice sometimes too. Oh, but the battery's not charged. Why must you? Why must I be my own greatest enemy? Um, anyway, charging up the battery. In fact, on that super, uh, on that wonderful spoiler, like what? You don't know Pokemon? Um, long story short. I played a girlfriend's copy of Pokemon back in high school. It was like Pikachu Yellow or something like that. And I was like, oh, it's it's Final Fantasy for, you know, simple people or whatever. That's what I said at the time. Now, granted, I think there actually is a little bit of strategy to it. And I, and I have nothing against the Pokemon stuff. But if you make a Pokemon thing next to me, I'm just going to go Bulbasaur and have that be it. <laughs> That's all I really got. So thank you very much for watching. When we get back, uh, the next episode, which will be well, probably going to record right after this one, is let us explore and see if I can get myself murdered in various fun ways. You know, pretty much what I've been doing this whole time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. It helps out immensely. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.